Cameron had spent all night working as he tried to find the person who ambushed him. He had not realized it was morning until he heard the door opening. Dad! Brenda found it hard to hide her surprise when she saw Cameron in front of his computer despite his current state. Cameron, you are still hurt. You need to rest. You just had surgery, so you should lie down and recuperate. Cameron was taken aback by Brenda's outburst. He had never had anyone speak to him this way, and he found himself closing his computer. I made you chicken soup. There are some potatoes and carrots inside. This is pumpkin soup with only a little bit of salt. It might be a little light. I hope you like it. Cameron took a spoonful of the soup and realized it was very tasty. As he continued to eat, he soon realized Brenda was staring at him. Don't stare at me. I don't like it. Oh, I I'm sorry. Brenda decided to turn her attention to Silas instead and rubbed her nose against his little one. I'm done with my soup. Brenda found it weird that Cameron wanted her to serve him more soup when the bowl of soup was just beside him. Mr. Kent, your soup is served. What a big baby. What happened? Have you found out about Brenda's sugar daddy? I found out she's been in Maywood. That's where all the big shots live. And guess what? She changed her job to Kent Enterprises. Since Brenda doesn't want to pay for our house, let's find some rich, lecherous men to pay. We'll set her up at Charlie's wedding. Charlie felt a shiver run down his body at the thought of what Linda and his mother planned to do to Brenda. Bro, didn't your fiancé always complain that our house is not good enough? Don't you think that with Brenda's beauty, her value is worth the money of a house? That little witch was already familiar with this kind of thing. Using her ruined body to help us earn a house back is also helping her to accumulate virtue, right? Mom, give Brenda a call. Ask her to attend the wedding. When the time comes, we'll put some sedatives in her drink. When she's unconscious, we'll take her to someone's room. When everything is set in stone and we have pictures as evidence, she won't be able to say anything. What do you want? Your cousin is getting married. Remember to come earlier that day. I'm afraid I don't have time to go. Your grandmother will also come to the wedding at that time. If she knew that you were unwilling to attend her precious grandson's wedding because of work, what would she think? Fine! What is it, Jen? Why didn't you call me? Are you busy having a sweet time with Mr. Kent? Brenda knew she couldn't tell Jenny about the ambush and decided to tell her about June's call instead. Bring Mr. Kent with you to the wedding. <laughs> It'll be a great surprise for everyone. Brenda immediately dismissed the idea as she explained her marriage arrangement with Cameron. This is not normal at all. How could a normal man not have any reaction towards a beautiful wife? Could it be that Cameron can't do it? No, no, he's fine. <laughs> have you seen him naked? Brenda becomes embarrassed and denies it. However, memories of the bathroom incident flashed through her mind. Mrs. Brenda Kent, you must come to the Conrad Hotel within half an hour to find me. You can't be late, do you hear me? My marriage life is pretty good now. There is no need to solve it. Thank you. Come and find me immediately. If I don't see you within half an hour, I'll end our friendship. Cam, I have something to do and need to go out. Can Silas sleep with you for a while? Put him on the bed. Cameron, you're still injured. The most important thing to do is rest. I know. Thanks. Cameron! Brandon left because she had received a call earlier. She seems to have an important date. Cameron remained focused on his work, ignoring Martin's insinuations. He decided it was unnecessary to bother himself with such information. Why did you buy lingerie for me? And are these thongs? To make Mr. Kent submit to your beauty, make him willingly accept your orders. You can keep them for yourself. I don't have a boyfriend. You have to take these things even if you don't want them. I am not returning them. Back at the hospital, Brenda is talking to someone on the phone. Hi, Jeffrey? Oh, Rich, I mean, Dad, it's you. I'll pick you up immediately. Is everything okay? I'll be back soon. I have to be somewhere. Harry noticed that Brenda had forgotten her bag and decided to bring it to Cameron. 
This is Brenda's. It seems to be a small gift for Silas. Your father just called and seemed to have come to the hospital. Brenda ran to pick him up and left the things in her room. The moment Harry left, a curious Cameron opened up the bag on the table. Cam, why are you going through my things? These are your things? They're from a friend. Rather, they are a friend's. It's not what you think. Brenda could tell Cameron didn't believe her, and she felt very embarrassed with the way he stared at her. You can leave now. Bree is very cute. I see you guys are making good progress. I still don't have any feelings for her. If you say so. What about the attack? Did you find out who did it? I would have to ask you about that. What do you mean? Who do you think will be unhappy if I get married? You mean... That's impossible. How could they do this to you? Your brothers! Stephen Kent enters the hall, feeling uneasy. Richard Kent, his father, sits sternly. Dad. Stand! Dad, if you want to punish me, you should at least tell me why. Cameron was ambushed yesterday. Does this have anything to do with you? What? I didn't do anything. I know Cameron is your favorite child, but I would not harm him. Cameron found out your wife hired gunmen. Explain this! Stephen becomes shocked to see these photos of his wife with hooligans. Dad, I really didn't know about this. Veronica, who gave you the right to hunt down Cameron? What nonsense are you spouting? Stephen showed Veronica the photos and realized she was indeed guilty. I did this for you! We both know your father is going to hand over the company to Cameron now that he's married. You shouldn't have gone that far and left that much evidence. Babe, I can't go to jail. Save me! Brenda, you are finally here. Brenda, do you still remember me? We went to school together. You haven't changed much since you started school, so of course Brenda remembers you. You are not like Brenda. She has become a slim and graceful beauty now. It makes people envious. All right, if you guys want to reminisce about old times, go in and say it. Don't block the door. There will be more guests coming later. Brenda found their conversation annoying since she was aware none of these girls actually liked her. She suddenly spotted her grandma in a corner and knew that was her chance to escape. You guys talk. I'll go and greet my grandma. Go, go, go. We'll wait for you. The person who paid is already in the room. That's good. Everything is going according to plan. We'll find an opportunity to send Brenda to that room, and it's guaranteed she'll learn a lesson tonight. Remember to turn on the camera and take a picture of everything in the room. Don't worry. We're going to make her pay. Linda felt good at the news. She couldn't wait to reduce Brenda to the trash that she was. Bree, come here. Grandma, why didn't you say that you were discharged? Don't you know I worry about you? I'm fine. It's a waste of money to stay in the hospital. Don't you need to work today? I thought you wouldn't be able to come. Today's Charlie's wedding day. Of course I will skip work to come. Then you can sit at my table, since I haven't eaten with you for a long time. Mom, our table is full of elders. Bree is so old already. Why not let her sit with Lynn and the others? They are all the same age and have a common topic to talk about. You should go and sit with Lynn. Just eat and don't drink. Brenda could suspect June was up to something suspicious. She decided to talk to her grandmother a little before leaving. Brenda, let's sit together. Brenda tried her best to focus on the wedding and ignore the people beside her. Soon, it was time for the food to be served, and Brenda enjoyed her meal until she was suddenly disturbed. Brenda, this is for you. In high school, I was rather arrogant. When I saw a girl prettier than me, I couldn't help but feel conflicted. Now that I think about it, I was really childish back then. Let's just settle our differences and make peace with each other. We'll contact each other more in the future. Brenda didn't want to have anything to do with Sandra in the future, but she took the glass of wine from her. Brenda, let's settle our differences. Here's to keeping in touch. Brenda, your alcohol tolerance is not bad. Even now, I still don't dare to finish it in one mouthful. Brenda felt her head begin to feel funny, and soon she felt very dizzy. She wanted to stand up with her hands on the table, but her legs felt weak. Her body shook, and she fell back onto the chair. Brenda, what happened to you? I'm fine. How can you be fine? 
Look at how red your face is. You're drunk. Angela, let's take her to the hotel to rest. No need. I will go and find Grandma. Angela and Sandra tightened their grip on Brenda as they took her toward the hotel. Your grandmother can't take care of you. We will. Brenda could tell at this point that Angela and Sarah were up to something evil, and she knew she had to escape. There is no need for you guys to go through all this trouble. I will give my friend a call. It is not up to you. That's right. There is a rich and wretched man in the room waiting for you. <laughs> I heard that he once had seven women to accompany him in one night. He is very capable and will definitely be able to satisfy you. Wouldn't it be a pity if you didn't go? The moment Brenda saw that her captors were distracted, she broke free and ran like her life depended on it. Brenda could feel the dizziness become more severe, and she could hardly tell where she was going anymore. However, as she neared an exit, she saw two hefty men coming toward her with a murderous glare. Fetcher, our boss is waiting. Somebody, please save me! Will Brenda end up falling into Linda's trap? Or will she be rescued? Hi, Brenda here. Hope you are loving Love Bargain. Keep following us as we release a new episode of Season 1 daily on YouTube. You can jump the queue and unlock all seasons of the audio series by installing the Pocket FM app now. Just click on the link in the description. To watch the next episode of Season 1, tap here, and to watch the full Season 1, click on the playlist.